In our final segment of how to pick a pageant system, today we look at scores versus comments. After you've put in all those sleepless nights, the hard work, and of course the money, at the end of the day, you want to learn something about the way you compete. What do I need to work on? What can I improve? What did the judges love or hate? But how many times have you left a pageant without receiving any scores or comments? Pageants most often use a numerical system. So it's pretty simple, really. The contestant who earns the most points, therefore, wins the pageant. But there are some systems that use the comments and deliberation format so that these pageants have no scores. Instead, the judges have to unanimously agree upon the winner. But why can't contestants get both comments and scores? So let's consider all sides. First, let's talk about the comments system. If you're the winner, then sure, your comments are going to be great. But if you didn't win, you would expect to get some kind of insight on where you fell short. But what's more frustrating is when you get your comments and they're all really nice. Sounds weird, I know. But if you, the judge, are telling me that you loved my outfit or thought I was well-spoken in interview or had a great personality and a lovely smile, then why didn't I place top 10? See what I mean? Judges' comments should be insightful, giving perspective and guidance on where contestants need to improve. That's why pageant systems that only use comments really need that checks and balance system, such as the numerical scale. Judges will not always agree with each other 100% of the time, and judges need their own independent way of ranking contestants. That's why you need a numerical scale. Not to mention, if a judge has a predetermined winner in their mind, every time the judges deliberate, that one judge could be pushing the rest of the judges towards that one contestant. Unfortunately, we have seen this a few times in our competition and learned about it either after the fact or during competition. And sadly, nothing was done about it. During competitions, contestants walk on and off the stage so quickly that I admit it can be hard to write comments without losing focus on the contestants. But just for a moment, let's consider dance competitions. Dancers move constantly for 90 to 120 seconds and their judges are still able to provide to them a numerical score and an audio recording of 90 to 120 seconds of commentary in real time. So why can't this same effort be provided in pageants? Nowadays, pageant scorings are done in a computer program. So all the judges have to do is push a button. So they should be free to be able to type without losing focus on the contestants. At least that's how I was taught by Mavis Beacon. But I would kill to hear judges thoughts on my performance and know where I can improve. Someone should at least be able to come up with a computer program that also designates certain buttons to mean simple comments, such as slow down, eye contact, posture, or try a different dress, style, or color. Scores can be extremely helpful when trying to decipher where you need to improve upon, but without those comments, there's still a lot of guesswork. So all in all, you as the potential contestant should be able to be vocal to the national director and give them some of your comments, concerns, or questions. Because without the national directors knowing the needs or wants of their contestants or future clients, how can they continue to evolve their pageants to better fit their contestants? I hope that this segment gave you a little bit more insight on some of the things that you should consider when picking out your next pageant. All in all, never hold back from getting out on that stage. You learn, live, and grow every time you have an experience. For more information, please feel free to contact me or visit our website at thecrowningmoment.com, helping you achieve excellence one moment at a time.